darkest place Dante's inferno The devil's maze It's a good world Good world gone bad Manhattan and skyscrapers. The two words are inextricably linked. And yet the skyline that we associate with Manhattan today really has its origins dating back to the 1920s. In 1929, construction begins on what is then the world's tallest building, the Empire State Building. Yet three years later, when it is completed, 1932, we are in the depths of the greatest depression in history. In fact, it's so difficult to rent that the Empire State Building develops a new nickname, Empty State Building. Still. It's also the era of the Chrysler Building, Rockefeller Center, and the most iconic photograph of that era is this one, lunch atop a skyscraper. There are mysteries around this photograph. Where was it taken? For years, people thought it was the Empire State Building. Wrong, Rockefeller Center. It was often attributed to Lewis Hines. Not so. There were three other photographers there. We're just not sure which one. And was this photograph posed? Or was it spontaneous? It was posed. But who was it posed for? The owners of Rockefeller Center or the Steel Workers Union? And who are those 11? As of right now, only two have been positively identified. But we do know that this was the era of immigrants and Native Americans putting up iconic New York. Pretty interesting to contemplate what we were building then and what we proposed building today. There's a documentary entitled Men at Lunch, which goes into greater detail about this. I encourage you to watch it. In the meantime, I'm gonna go check out some more buildings. If you like what you see here today, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, join the conversation in the comment section below. You guys are just so sharp and so generous. Just wow. Share create a playlist. Consider supporting our work by using our no-cost view affiliate links down below or making a contribution directly via the PayPal link down below. As always, we thank you for it. For Three Blind Men and an Elephant, I'm Hugh Brownstone. See you next time.